Hi guys. Over the past couple days, Kathy has gotten some questions regarding the assembly and the adjustments for the new STS bars. So she asked me to take a couple quick minutes here to go over it so that it's a little less daunting when it arrives in your home and it's time to put it together. So we're going to start by talking about what's going to be in the box. You should have four legs that look like this. Now you're going to notice that one side is a little shorter and one side is a little longer. You're also going to notice that of the four bars, two of them have a screw hole that looks like this. That's going to be for your stabilizing connector bar. So again, two should have that screw hole and two won't. When we set these aside for assembly, we want one light that has a screw hole and we want one light that doesn't for each side. So I'm going to go ahead and separate those out to get them ready for assembly. Next, you're going to have your two STS bars that look like this. There's holes down each side. That's for your height adjustments. So I'm going to go ahead and take one of these off to the side and I will leave the other one right here. You're going to have one stabilizing connector bar that looks like this, okay? So you're going to notice that this doesn't have any holes in it, and it shouldn't. When you screw those knobs down to hold this into place, they're going to press tight against this bar itself. So we don't need that just yet. I'm going to put that off to the side. You're going to have four safety catch pins that look like this. Two for each side. So let's go ahead and separate those. The last thing that's going to be in the box is going to be six safety knobs that look like this. Now, when you look at those safety knobs, you're going to notice that two of them have a screw that's a little bit shorter and chubbier, and the other side's a little longer and thinner. So we're going to take those two sides that are a little stubbier, and we're going to put those with our stabilizing connector, because we don't need those just yet. The four screws that are a little thinner go two for each side. So we're going to separate two, and we're going to separate two. Now, when you set up everything for assembly, we're going to look at the legs. We want to make sure that all of the short sides of the legs are facing in and all of the long sides are facing out. We also want to make sure that the two that have the screw hole are facing one another and they're both on the front here, front or back, whichever, but they have to be on the same side and the screws have to be facing one another. That's so that your state stabilizing connector bar can go right through and you can attach that. All right, so now everything's separated. We're ready for assembly. Okay, so we're ready to assemble side one. I'm going to grab my STS bars. And I'm going to go ahead and take the legs and I'm going to line them up to my STS bar just so I can see about how far apart I need them to be. Then I'm going to go ahead and take my bar and I'm going to slide it down right in like this. Now I'm going to take my safety knobs and I'm just going to put those in first. And then I'll show you why. All right, I haven't even chosen my height adjustment just yet. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop these in. Now, with the safety knobs in, you'll be able to use them to support the bar a little bit while you line up where you want to be. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and loosen this, and I'm going to find the height adjustment that I want on this side, and I'm going to pop my safety pin in. Now, when I put those safety knobs in, I didn't tighten them up all the way, just enough for a little support. Now that my pin is in this side, I'm going to go ahead and tighten that one. And I'm going to come over to this side. I'm just going to go ahead and find my adjustment. I'm going to look through and make sure I can see through that hole all the way to the other side so that when I take my safety pin and I go ahead and put it in here, it's easy to push it right through and then tighten up my knob. It's that simple. So now this side is together. It's ready to go. Everything's tight. When you put your safety pins in, you can put them in from the inside. You can put them from the outside in, whatever's more comfortable for you. You just want to make sure that when you go to put it through that you can see all the way through the hole to the other side. If you're finding that that safety pin is just not going through smoothly, chances are it's because your legs are just not quite straight. So just straighten everything out and your safety pin should slide right in. Now, one thing to note, when these are brand new, everything's going to be at its tightest. The metal is brand new. The safety pins are brand new. The safety pins will always be a certain level of tight. The, I mean, the point is to keep this bar from falling down into the legs. That's what the safety pin is there to do. So you also always want it to be tight. But as you maneuver it and as you make your adjustments, it will get a little easier to get those safety pins in. At the beginning, they are going to be at their absolute tightest. So now let's assemble side two. It's time to assemble side two. So like we said before, the most important thing is to make sure that the screw holes are facing one another, the short sides are facing in, and the long sides are facing out. So just like before, I'm going to take my STS bar and I'm going to line it up just so I can make sure I have the distance that I need. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop this right in. All right, 
and I'm going to take my knobs and I'm just going to pop those in for a little bit of security while I put in my safety pin. So not too tight, just enough to hold that bar a little bit. All right, easy stuff. And once you have those in, you're going to go ahead and choose the height that you want. Once you have it, you're going to take your safety pin, look through, make sure you can see through to the other side, pop your safety pin in, and then tighten up your knob. Now, same thing on this side. I'm going to lighten that up. I'm going to pop my safety pin right through. Now, like I mentioned, if that safety pin's not going through, it's probably just that this leg is a little off kilter. So straighten yourself up, push your pin through, tighten your knob. And we're done. We have our STS bars together. So now that we have two completed bars, we can talk about the stabilizing connector. So we set it up with those screw holes ready to go. We're going to grab our stabilizing connector and those two knobs that we talked about earlier. We're going to take that stabilizing connector and we're going to slide it, blend into one side, and then right into the other side. Now this is where we decide how close or far apart one our bars to be. All right, so maybe you need them a little bit closer for dips or a little further for pull-ups. But whatever you decide, you're going to put that in and you're going to take your knobs and you're going to go ahead and you're going to secure your stabilizing connector. Just takes a second here. And this is going to make sure that those bars stay nice and stable while you're using them. All right, so now everything's nice and tight. So now you'll be able to see that when I pick this unit up, it moves as one piece. It's nice and stable. The bars can't falling on each other. They can't fall out while you're using them. Okay, everything's nice and sturdy and ready to go. So now that everything is together, let's talk briefly about what happens when you need a height adjustment. What's the easiest way to do it? Just like when we first built the bars, the easiest way that I've found, and you will find your own tricks of what makes this the easiest for you. But the easiest way for me is to go ahead and to pop my safety pins out. And you will notice if you look at your safety pins, that they do have a little bump on one end that you can actually press in and out. So if you find that that is, if you're having a hard time getting the pin out, you might just want to give that a little press. It makes it a little easier to slide up. Absolutely not necessary, but for some, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to lighten these up again. These knobs, not all the way, just enough to give this bar a little movement. And I'm going to take this down to whatever adjustment I'm looking for. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pop my safety pin right through. Once I get my safety pin on one side, I'm going to go ahead and tighten it up. Come to the other side, find my adjustment that I'm looking for, pop my safety pin through, and tighten it up. And I just made my adjustment. That simple. Let's talk about storing your SDS bars. And this is a big one for a lot of people. Many of us don't have enough space to leave something of this size put together and have it not be in our way. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by just taping on that stabilizing connector. So you're just going to take your knobs out, just takes a quick second, and you're going to slide the bars off of your stabilizing connector. We think that if you happen to have enough space in your home where you could leave one of these up, you can always take the other one and you can just nest them together. And it does give it a slightly smaller footprint. But for many of us, that's still not enough. Maybe we need to slide it under a bed or we need to put it behind a door, up against a wall, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to show you a little trick. I'm going to take this and put it off to the side. We're just going to focus on this one bar for now. Now to some level, it's going to take a little bit of disassembly in order to lay it flat because these legs are pretty tall. You can't just slide it under a bed that way. But you don't have to go back to step one of taking the whole thing all the way apart. I'm going to show you a little trick that I like to use. So you're going to take your safety pins up, just like that. And you're going to loosen up your knobs here, but not all the way, just enough to let that bar slide all the way down. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the legs and I'm just going to turn them just like this. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten those knobs back up. So now my bar is flat and ready to slide under a bed. If you have a high sofa, you can put it under there, tuck it up against a wall in a closet. And when it's time to use it again, and you pull it up. We're gonna like loosen your knobs back up a little bit. We're gonna turn your legs right back to the position that they need to be in. You're gonna find your height adjusted, put your pins right back in and you're ready to go. So I hope all this info was useful and makes it a little easier for you when it's time to assemble and enjoy your new STS bars.